welcome to a metal mass that we've been so excited to do. We're going to play some video games. We're going to play some more video games. We've got a whole list of these games we wanted to play. Metal themed games. We started with the the Amon Amarth game. Um, it was a lot of fun. Very, very hard. If you want to see just how hard, I mean, go back, check out the last video we did on that. Very difficult. But uh, anyway, we're moving on. We're now playing a new game. Avenge Sevenfold, Hail to the King, Deathbat. Hail to the King, Deathbat. It's, man, we're very excited to play this. You've played it before. When it was an app, the yep. phone app, I had never had. So it's kinda... It's been a very long time. But now it's on Steam. So It's on Steam. So we're going to play it. Uh, computer version and on I'm, Steam. and uh, I'm excited for you to experience this game. It's a good one. I'm very excited as well. I mean, without further ado, we should probably just jump right in. Hail to the King Deathbat. So this game is a pretty old game. It used to be a mobile app, but then one day it just wasn't on the App Store anymore. But now it's on Steam, so we get to play it. And we're going to do just that. I think it would be prompt for me to narrate this. Yes. <clears throat> A wager was made between three gods, forging a war of good and evil. Two of the Elder Gods believed that under the grip of darkness, good would always prevail. The Elder Gods there, while the third, Kerberos, believed in the tribe of all things evil. To settle the wager, the world of Hades was created. Cast upon the new world were creatures of all brands, both holy and unholy, moral and immoral. The Elder Gods sent down the Sacred Talisman, vessel of all the power and magic of Hades. The Keeper of the Talisman would hold ultimate power. If that's me. <laughs> both sides struggle for control. For a thousand years, chaos reigned. Chaos reigns. It's a trivium reference there. <laughs> Just as evil seemed to overcome Hades, a young boy entered the world. Didn't want to miss that line. <laughs> the boy was born of war with blood and bones of courage and a heart of righteousness. Andronicus was his name. Very Greek sounding. The boy became a man, an incorruptible force against the faces of evil. He rose the leader of the human race, the bringer of victory, our savior. At his side, the Reverend Thalmuel Thalmu Plague stood as his trusted comrade. the Rev. <laughs> the Rev, man. That is awesome. Together, they slowly pushed back the swarms of evil. Wow. On Morris Island, Andronicus led his men into the ultimate battle of light and dark. Countless lives were lost, but the virtuous warrior triumphed, taking possession of the talisman. The people chose Andronicus as their king, and he ruled justly, casting his foes to faraway lands. That's a cool island. It's a death bat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Peace spread throughout Hades for a time. Enraged by the outcome, an insidious Kerberos traveled to Hades to alter the forces. After slaying both Andronicus and the Rev, that was brief. <laughs> he created an evil apparition, a dark version of Andronicus, to do something to him. Hades once again succumbed to evil. Even the other gods were fooled by the furtive schemes of Kerberos. Yet puzzled by the sudden change in Andronicus, they searched for answers. So I got an evil twin now. The Elder Gods found the body of Andronicus. They resurrected the fallen king. With wings to hasten his journey and the spirit of the Rev to guide him, the gods sent Andronicus, the true king and bringer of victory, risen as the death bat to once again secure peace in Hades. Man, I'm pumped for this. <laughs> All right, let's oh, look at that little death bat. Andronicus. Open your eyes. This is the way that 90% of video games start out. <laughs> You're right. Open your eyes. <laughs> Look at me, Andronicus. No sword? You expect to defeat your enemies with just those bony little arms of yours? Let me see what I can offer you. I don't know. It looks pretty ripped to me. <laughs> it does look pretty ripped for a, it's like a skeleton. For a skeleton. <laughs> <laughs> Up the stairs to the left. What's this? Oh. oh. Dude, it's a mana cauldron. Oh, shit. Oh, what what the, the hell is that? That's disgusting. <laughs> Gremlin, apparently. Yeah, you're now ready to hunt... Oh, sorry. Forgive me. You're now ready to hunt down Dark Andronicus and take back your land. 
I'm guessing that's my evil twin that was created by the three, uh, or the one, the one bad guy of the three kings, three gods. I don't remember the lore. I gotta remember it better. Oh, that's the portal. Oh, the wings. That's pretty sick. Um, if you how, do you, how do you hit map? I can go back. It's that one up there. The glow one. That would make sense. The one with no fog. <laughs> so I have to traverse this giant, scary smiley face. To get I think there. he does that off camera. <laughs> Probably off camera. camera. Yeah. Just, but then why doesn't he just fly straight to the <laughs> the fog, man? <laughs> the fog. Fair enough. Ooh, nightmare. Nightmare. Bing, 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 bing. Uh, no, sorry. I did not want to do that. That's pretty sick. Okay, if I remember right, I think you can break those coffins. They do look pretty dang breakable. Yeah, that's, that's definitely a breakable. Ooh, baby, I'm a witch. Oh, oh, shit. Here come the imps. <laughs> or whatever they're called. Screw you guys. Oh, ah, dad. I love collecting coins. Even if even in a game where coins don't mean anything, it's just very satisfying to like pick them up. Okay, these guys suck, man. I like playing any of the Lego games, it's half of the game. <laughs> You're right. It's just picking up those little studs. To become like a true Jedi. <laughs> true Jedi. Oh my gosh, it's a zombie Groot. That is <laughs> disgusting, dude. So I'm guessing this isn't the green portal we spoke of, but it is a green portal. It's the checkpoint. That would make sense. Oh yes, little witch, Bing. Little witch girl said there was some checkpoints. Ooh, yeah, that's definitely Ooh, a good bad. Holy shit, that's awesome. <laughs> There's two ways, so we gotta figure out what, which way to go. Soldier, he's missing a leg. Quite, it's quite gruesome. Let me just oh, grab these. No, 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 if you run into the red beast, send him back to hell. Wait, the what? <laughs> the what? <laughs> well, apparently there's red beast. Is he talking about the gremlins? Well, not likely. <laughs> <laughs> the, the red, red beast. beast. Yeah, it's gotta be. It's just so much easier to spam them dead. Oh. Yep. <laughs> that's, that's definitely a red beast there. <laughs> Dude, the music. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh. Unholy confessions, right? Yeah, brother. Yeah. Awaken the fallen. God. Oh, she's close. She's close. She's so slow. This is oh, a This is the lamest boss ever. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. She was. She hit. She hit pretty hard. She hit pretty hard. She, she held her own. She held her own. We won't. We won't. Uh, we won't wreck her too hard. Oh, yeah. Gate key. You found a key. Nice. All right. So my guess is it's gonna be the big lock. Yeah. Right oh. Can't be too simple. <laughs> Can't be that. Yeah. Simple. Gotta be something else over here. Nasty. Oh, oh I have no man. I have no, no man. Mana. That's just. Oh, dude, there was a cauldron back there. Oh, gosh, I should have filled up. But I'm oh, an idiot. Wait, do you man. think you should go back? Um, if I, like, uh, you have to run to another boss, then that's gonna be a huge issue. Honestly, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go for it. I'm going for it. I'm taking, I'm risking the biscuit. <laughs> Whoa. Well, that was a mistake. <laughs> you don't need legs. Well, what's up with these freaking imp-like fellows, dude? Ooh, oh my gosh. They just came out of nowhere. Oh gosh. Man, they drop mana. We're good, we're good. They're, they're feeding me mana. Oh, dude, when you take one... Oh, sorry. Too, too late. Ooh. Ow. Okay, I'm gonna blast him. I just gotta get the right angle. Ooh, he's got... He's like... Ooh, dude. <sighs> he's gunner. <sighs> 
dude, you backed him into that corner. Dude, dude. Just, <laughs> I, I, dude I destroyed that guy. Okay, that's got to be the big key, right? That's got to be the big four right there. Look at that gold, the little, little gold. Castle key. You found the castle key. <laughs> I love how it, like, like a giant key lifts out of its chest. <laughs> you got a key. It's, it's labeled castle key, and then it pops up a giant thing to let me know, you've got a castle key. Thanks, I didn't, I didn't realize. <laughs> Castle Key! That was a pretty cool animation. Pretty advanced. Like, I don't know. It just seems really cool. Okay, a little gremlin guards from the, at the beginning. One dead warrior, my ass. Oh, oh my gosh, dude. City of evil. That's sick. <laughs> my it fits favorite. right in here. <laughs> Actually, I don't know. City of Evil is definitely. Of, City of Evil is an amazing album, but Fantastic. the more I listen to Waking the Fallen. Oh, Waking the Fallen. There's it's something very special about Waking the Fallen. City of I still, it's just, I don't know. I just, it's just all around great. Well, what the hell is that? Big <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, I know these guys do not do well with a little bit of spinach. Ah, ooh, oh gosh. He's got a radius there. Yeah, he does. Ooh. Oh, I'm out of spinach. <laughs> Dude, you got a sissy little uh, swing there. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Seems to be doing some damage, but it is a sissy little swing. Ow. You're getting close, man. <laughs> Crap, I'm gonna have to take some. What the? Oh. <laughs> oh, well, that's pretty cool. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> yeah. Grab some mana. Um, let me hit this. Yeah, I should probably grab the mana first in case it's like something that like, comes barreling out of you. <laughs> yeah. These, these really don't give me shit. Like, I should just stop breaking them. <gasps> it's him. <laughs> it's the green portal, too, I think. Uh, I think it's a red portal. Oh, you're right. What do we have here? Never have I seen such a pitiful excuse for a corpse. You should have stayed in the ground where you belong. It's much safer there. But since you're here, I hope you take a moment to look around. I've made many improvements, like firing the cleaning staff, jackass. <laughs> As you can see, I've taken everything that once belonged to you and made it my own. Your castle, your land, and your face. Oh, <laughs> ultimate insult. Messed up. I will rain down violence upon you so vile, I will deliver pain so cruel that you will pray for mercy. Then, only then will I allow your mangled body to roam the land, and you will watch your people suffer, powerless to help them for all eternity. He's thought this through. He's thought this through, and perfect to have the wicked end as his theme song. Oh yeah. Ooh. That's quite, oh my gosh, he's so he's fast, dude. Dude, I don't think you can outrun him. Start blasting him, man. You're right, you're right, you're right. Whoa, is he deflecting that? I, can't I have tell. no idea. Oh, oh, there we go, there we go. Okay, he's not too tough. Yeah, he, I guess he's, he is, he is invincible when he is staying still, so. Gosh, he is fast, dude. <laughs> Dude, imagine that this is like the fight scene in a movie. You're just <laughs> running, running, running in circles. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, he's getting so close. You got this. <gasps> no. We should have ran for one of those. Uh, help. <sighs> for the help, man. I just wasn't watching it. All right, let's give this another shot. You did, my friend. You guys are just like cat fighting now. We are. You can get one of those HP just in case. You're a dog, you're a dog. Oh, we just want well, I'm away. out of mana, dude. I'm out of mana. Oh, dude, you're so close. I got him, I got him, I got him. You're right. No. I got him, I got him, I got him, I got him, I got him. Okay, that's it, that's it. I'm doing this. Oh, that's smart, actually. <laughs> Oh, well. There he goes. Oh. 
dude, he got freaking roasted. But is he, he actually so tough? Dead. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I mean, he was built up to be like the main antagonist, and he's dead in the first, the first place. Oh, the first round. Oh gosh. So he went from Dark and Dranicos to Dark Deathbed, and then he just, just he just absolutely suckered me with his sword. <gasps> The Rev, dude. It's the Rev. Just pull that sword out of my bag, please. Oh my gosh. What a saint, man. Saint James. Saint James. That was awesome. Look at this, man. I got a new sword, dude. Look at this glowy. What? I can shoot fire now. Man, that's sick. You're just destroying her crit. She's just sitting there like... <laughs> And our next, uh, our next stop along the way is... Well, that one's cool. But this is our next location. Unholy Confessions. Confessions. That's awesome. They teased us with the boss fights. The early boss fights. Oh, with the song Unholy man. Confessions, man. Perfect. Sorry, Perfecting the world. world. Meant to sin. Meant to sin. Awesome. Well, Join us back for this uh, event whenever we do that. Yeah, one day we will be doing another episode of Unholy Confessions, if you'd like to see it. I mean, come on, we listen to our audience. If you're like, hey, we don't like this, let us know and we'll stop. But if you're like, hey, this was pretty cool, this was fun, please do another. We're going to do another and probably another after that. So, Well, thanks for hanging with us again. May metal be with you. Blessings be upon you. Amen. 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 <laughs>